I'm Psycho Mike. That's Keaton. That's Eric. That's what the important this is. Thing. Eric. Hello, sir. We dragged you back in here. I apologize. So Hi, this is Eric. How are you? Good. Is this show scaring you yet? Scaring me? Yeah. Uh, no, but I am in a compromising position. <laughs> Why is that? Because these mics are attacking you? No, because because uh, my sex life is with his mother. <laughs> and that's, yeah. that's odd. Sounds I'm wrong. okay, though. <laughs> You're okay, you haven't got. I feel funny. Do you? Uh, yeah, okay. It's, it's just not appropriate. <laughs> It's like my dad used to bring me to a lot of R-rated movies when I was 12. That was inappropriate. He's a grown man. It's okay, Eric. He's a grown man. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? This is true. Yeah. It's true. But I do. I'm going to end the show tonight with a... Uh, they were talking about the smell of, of, of terrible balls. A girl was talking about uh, how her yeah. boyfriend's balls smelled bad, and, yeah. and they suggested maybe it was rotten semen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have, your, uh, I have your reaction to it, to end the show with tonight. It's very good. <laughs> well, what's my reaction? It was guttural. Guttural. Uh, guttural sound. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's upsetting for a poor girl. <laughs> I know. I feel bad for him. That's crazy. Uh, I think this... he needs to wash his balls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what I was, was kind of going to say. Like, does he wash his balls? <laughs> I hope so. No, you kept going down the. Uh, what has he been eating? Like? Well, I think it could be dietary. Yeah. You, 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 you were being so, so maternal. <laughs> Maybe it's what he. Brad Pitt movie makes my balls reek. The movie. <laughs> Yeah. Is that yeah, that exactly. movie was overrated. Oh, that's little, not true. A little bit of a little long for a fucking cartoon. Two hours, ten minutes. Yeah, cut it down. Maybe yeah. it was good, but yeah, I agree. Yeah, you, you agree. Stuff, Did you like Up better? Oh, I loved Up. Really it made me cry. Up made me cry too, but I took my knee, I took my nephew to the premiere at the El Capitan. There was all the Disney characters, and everything it was a really cool event. And I sit down, I got my seven year old nephew who's a maniac. He's the one who you know I pepper spray. He's, yeah. he's, he's a you. maniac, right? Yeah. And I'm sitting next to him. I'm like, oh wait, I'm crying now, and he's right next to me. But I had the 3D glasses on, so I'm uh, like this because uh, I didn't want him to see. Uh-huh. Eric Roberts, what's the favorite movie you've ever done? Oh, it's about an eight way tie. It would be, <laughs> it would be Shark to Puss. King of the Gypsies, Star 80, Runaway Train, Pop Grand Village, It's My Party, Love is a Gun, and a couple of others. Star 80, you were so goddamn creepy in the movie. I loved it. Yeah, well, that was under under the guidance of a, of a real genius named Bob Fosse. Yes, he, he was well, a genius. Well. That movie's so good. Do you got to see Bob, uh, Star, Star 80 again? It was great yeah. How do you think he, he was a choreographer? How did he go from being a choreographer to such an inspiring director for actors? I wonder. Well, he was an actor dancer. Oh, he was an actor dancer movie. singer. He was a triple threat, and uh, he was just a groovy cat. Yeah, he choreographed theater. But but he I, but he was such a famous choreographer. No, absolutely. Yeah. I, I'm just amazed here that he was inspiring to a right. actor. Well, absolutely. No. Yeah. I learned more from him in those six months that that, that we hung out that I learned in the decade before. That's amazing. Um, that's a huge Can you put it to work? What kind of stuff he... I just learned how to find stuff in me I never thought I could get. Wow. So yeah. cool. Yeah. Cool. Eric Roberts, thanks, man. Yeah, Special guy. Yeah.